U.S. Mexico line is heating up. A group of Texas mayors opposes the bar barrier, not because they want to make it easier for illegals to cross. Instead, they think the money can be better spent on things like more border patrol agents. Chris Gutierrez is live in El Paso, Texas with more. Chris? John, that proposed fence you're talking about is similar to this one here. It's roughly 15 feet high. Supporters also want to build a second fence a little further out, let's say about this far out. And in between the two fences, they want to build a road right down this stretch so Border Patrol agents can patrol. One more thing they want, they want to put security cameras up on top of that fence. Now, those who support the fence feel it will help secure our border by giving Border Patrol agents another tool to cut crime and reduce the threat of terrorism. Down here along the Mexican border, some ranchers say they see illegal immigrants eluding authorities all the time. In fact, some are so concerned they carry guns when they leave their house. Scared, they say, because the immigrants have nothing to lose. But others along the border, including at least seven mayors of border towns like El Paso here, are concerned that building a wall would do more harm than good, hurting commerce, travel, and foreign relations. So they're calling for the use of technology to help keep illegals out, things like motion detection sensors and better lighting. Critics also want to beef up the border patrol. Building a fence, they say, sends the wrong message. As soon as we build a wall that's 20 foot tall between Mexico and the United States, somebody will, will open a maquiladora in Mexico to build 21 foot ladders to get over the wall. Or they'll start building tunnels under the wall. We had friends of ours not that long ago, they caught 32 men, women, and children and their coyote, the one that gets paid to, to bring them across, going right through their fields. That's, that's nerve wracking, especially for, for those that have young children out here. Estimates show it could cost anywhere from $1.5 to $2 million a mile to build this wall. Live in El Paso this morning, I'm Chris Gutierrez, Fox News. All right, Chris, thank you very much. He admitted having an affair with the wife of his former campaign manager and close friend. And although he's not blaming his actions on alcohol, San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom says he thinks he'll be a better person if he never drinks again. Newsom says he's going to get professional help as he tries to stay sober. The mayor up for re-election in November. He says he's in it to win. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani tells Fox he is running for president. We'll take a look at some of the challenges he faces right after the break. Then 